Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Big 30. And we're going to be talking about ESTG. Now, ESTG and Big 30 seem to be having a back and forth or maybe just on ESTG side. Now, for those of you who don't know, Big 30 went on social media to tell everybody about who he signed to. And a lot of people took that as him you know, backing out of any type of smoke or any type of beef that might come from what happened to Young Dolph. You know what I mean? Now, it is not fact that Yo Gotti had something to do with it. You know what I mean? It's not fact that CMG had something to do with it. But that is a rumor that's out here because of their past beef between Young Dolph and Yo Gotti. So a lot of people are running with that. And Big 30, obviously being from South Memphis, probably looked up to Young Dolph. So... He went out and basically said, rest in peace to Young Dolph. Well, a lot of people took that the wrong way as well, man. They thought that, okay, he's really jumping ship and, you know, leaving his own team out there, you know, to hang or at least to be the, the people that are being scrutinized right now by hip hop. Because right now, there is a lot of people who are mad at CMG, you know, even if it's unwarranted. A lot of people are out here upset at Yo Gotti and his team. So it seems like it would be easy right now to separate yourself from them and basically get out the kitchen before it gets hot. You know what I mean? But Big 30 fired back and he had some things of his own to say. What well, looks like ESTG has been calculating all this and he wanted to put it out there in forefront who he's aligned with and where his loyalties lie. Now, before we get to the specifics and break down all these posts and clips and everything, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about this whole Big 30 ESTG situation. So like I said earlier in the intro, man, Big 30 went to social media and he said this right here, right? For all the blogs, all the media, all the fans out there, man, I repeat, I am not CMG. CMG, yo, got it, and they're just the family. I'm not CMG, I'm in it, man. In it for life, in the break guy, man. And judging from that video, it seemed like him just explaining things to people and letting them know where, you know, where he signed. Like, it seemed like more of his record deal as opposed to who he's aligned to because he also said that CMG is a family. Now, after he put that out, uh, Moneybag Yo, who is actually the CEO of Bray Gang, which he is signed to, came out and made a statement. And in his statement, he basically said, don't try to explain anything to social media because you'll end up losing in the long run. You know what I mean? Just put that out there to kind of school Big 30 on how to handle social media, it seemed like, and to let people know kind of why on the CMG side of the game, they're not saying anything. And when I say anything, I'm talking about they haven't said anything about this entire situation. Like it's not the biggest story in hip hop and like it's not happening in their hometown because Joe Gotti from Memphis, Moneybag Yo from Memphis. So when Big 30 stepped out and said something, it seemed like he was jumping out of rank and file when really he was just, you know, it might not even be related to that. You know what I mean? People just ran with the narrative and, you know, he's had a couple of little situations since he's been in the rap game where there's been a misunderstanding or two. And it comes with the territory. He'll be all right, man. He's got a loyal fan base. And he fired back on social media, letting people know that, hey, he ain't ducking no smoke because they are the smoke. That's basically what he said in his post. Now, ESTG has obviously been calculating all this and reading the temperature of the room, man. And he sees that there's a lot of people who are saying things about CMG, or blaming Yo Gotti for this and that involved with Young Dolph, you know what I mean? Even though there's no proof to say that Yo Gotti was involved in any way, a lot of people believe that, you know? That's a majority opinion throughout hip-hop. So right now, CMG is looking kind of crazy. And ESTG, he, it seems like he's clapping back at the whole sentiment of hip-hop right now, kind of being at odds with CMG. But it also seems like He's clapping back at Big 30 because he put out a post or I should say a video that said this right here. Don't start writing me from these fake pages and mm, 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 no nothing about nothing. I love Yo Gotti though. I know what. Mm -hmm, mm, CMG, I love Gotti. Death. Now you heard in that video that ESTG basically said that he doesn't know nothing about nothing, but He's down with Gotti. You know what I mean? He loves Yo Gotti because obviously Yo Gotti is the guy who helped change his life. You know, 
And it seems like he doesn't want to put his nose in anything that's going on in Memphis. He said he don't know nothing about nothing. So basically, he's talking about the whole situation that's going down there. And he just, you know, he, him being from Louisville and being signed under Gotti, he just wanted to make sure that he told everybody that he is CMG. Like, he's claiming CMG and there ain't nothing wrong with being CMG. And he followed that up with a post. Now, in this post, he said this. He said, I'm CMG with a heart emoji, a brain emoji, and a strong, a strong arm emoji. So basically, let it be known that that's where he, he's aligned, man. We know that he's been signed with CMG. He's been doing well in the rap game. We've been seeing, you know, ESTG has been going up, man. But this does seem like a response to all the sentiment that's out there, right? Because you have a time where everybody is kind of getting tired of rappers getting shot and killed. So when it's somebody that they could easily blame and point the finger at, you know, it's easy to, you know, cower behind that and not be one to be associated with things. But man, nah, he's going to stand on it. He said, forget that. We're going to stand on this. It reminds me of when King Von got really, really hot and everybody was saying, I'm not from 63rd, right? I'm not from 63rd. Like you saw that everywhere, man. You still see it a lot, right? Well, there was a rapper by the name of 22 G's. And he's down with whatever uh, uh, 63rd is down with. I'm trying to choose my words correctly here, so don't, so don't mind me. And basically, or I should say he claims whatever the guys on 63rd claim. You know what I mean. And he put on his, on his profile page on Instagram, I'm from 63rd. You know what I mean? And he's from New York. Just letting it be known that, you know, Rhett, where you from? Rhett, where you align? Rhett, what you doing? You know what I mean? Like, if that's who you are and that's a part of your identity, don't be, you know, just because there's some heat right now, don't run away from it. And to be honest, I don't think Big 30 was doing that. I don't think that Big 30 wasn't standing on it. I think he was just letting people know that where he's, you know, who he was signed to. And people ran with it, man. And a lot of people accused him of ducking smoke, so he had to come back and say something because... When your whole identity in the rap game, or there's young wildcats running a wild, running around, you know what I mean? You're going to have to, you know, stick up for yourself and your image, you know what I mean? And yeah, a little bit of that is ego, but another part of that is pride. You don't want anybody saying anything about you that's not true or misconstruing, misconstruing your words, I should say. But man, in this situation, do I think there's really any uh, situation between Big 30 and ESTG, I doubt it, man. Number one, they're in two different age groups from what I could see or what I what I think I know. You know what I mean? I don't know that for a fact. But number two, like Big 30 is just coming up in the game. ESTG, super established, already doing big things, man. And they, their careers are ahead of them, man. They, they're, they're both going to be doing big things in this rap game. So I don't think it's any type of misunderstanding like that. I just think they wanted to make sure they put it out there, who they are, where they're from. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, with that, what do you guys think? Do you think that Big 30 was out here ducking the smoke? Or do you think that Big 30 was out here trying to separate itself from CMG? Or do you think that maybe people misconstrued what he was trying to say and it, it ended up being a whole bunch of drama? Now, with ESTG, do you think that he's clapping back at Big 30? Or he's just repping that he's CMG? Yo, God, he changed his life. So he's going to put it, he's going to put it out there with his chest out. You know what I'm saying? Now with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. So that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content and we out of here. Peace.